Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And there are rumours swirling all around Westminster that Rishi Sunak may be very close to calling a summer election. It seems that he's very unlikely to make it to the autumn. Uh, there's too many people ready to uh, oust him, to have a little coup d'etat and take him on. And so he may call their bluff, call the election early, go to the, pre uh, go to the country... And uh, knowing that he's going to lose, just take his untaxed billions and bugger off to America, leaving whoever follows in his wake to pick up the pieces and sit there with probably the worst election record of worst election uh, result on record. Wouldn't put it past him. He seems very vindictive like that. But it is bad. It is very, very bad. Will Boris Johnson come back? Who knows? Personally, I think it doesn't matter who comes back. I think it's already a done deal. We're going to have Keir Starmer for a few weeks before he's ousted and then Angela Rayner as PM. Nice. A woman who can barely read and write running the country. And that's when she's not worrying about her own personal tax affairs and being investigated by the police. Oh, we lack some decent politicians in this country, don't we? Well, let's take a look at this story to see if the rumours are in any way credible. Can't say whether they're true or not, because they are, after all, just rumours. But we'll see who's saying what to whom, and if there will be a summer election. Here goes. So here we go. Summer election rumours are sweeping Westminster, as Rishi Sunak bemoans the worst hospital pass for decades. From Boris Johnson and Liz Trust, with frustrated allies warning. Tory plotting means he cannot hang on until the autumn. There's so many people that want him gone within the Tory party, not out in the country. God, there's loads out in the country. But even just within the Tory party at Westminster, there are so many people. Now, it is believed that there's now 51, possibly 52 letters have gone in to the 1922 committee. And Brady is going to be counting them again and again because he knows one more and then bang, that's it. There has to be a leadership challenge. At that point, Sunak, I think, will call the election. Literally within minutes of hearing that the 53rd one's gone in, bam, he'll call the election. Uh, Rishi Sunak has bemoaned his hospital pass from Boris Johnson and Liz Truss amid fevered Westminster rumours about a solid, uh, about a summer election. I'm just going to close that off there. It's really annoying. There we go. Uh, in an interview uh, with the foreign, former Foreign Secretary, Lord Haig, he also highlighted times when he felt acutely that he was not being there for his two daughters. Ah, so he's looking to provide the excuse for going. Is that it? Oh, I'm just going to use my daughters. Rather than I've actually cocked it up incredibly badly and made things really bad and worse because I'm not very good at my job. But, uh, oh no, no, family time. Oh, yeah, he yeah. wants to spend more time with his untaxed billions. That's what it is. Uh, the comments come amid mounting Tory unrest over dire polls showing Keir Starmer on track for a landslide victory when the country goes to the ballot boxes. Election guru Sir John Curtis estimated a 99% chance of Labour being in power in the next Parliament. I think everybody has accepted that. I think everyone, even in the Tory party, have accepted that. They're the ones who wanted Rishi, remember. The membership wanted Liz Truss. Liz Truss said, oh, let's reduce this, let's pay that, let's give people a bit of money in their pocket and ease life for a little while. And they didn't like it. And uh, the WEF spoke and she was ousted. And their little front man went in and literally little front man went in. Uh, he was unwanted by the electorate. He was unwanted by the people of the country. He was unwanted by the members of the Tory party. Remember, he failed. But the Tories at Westminster said, no, no, we have to have the little dwarf in. And they put the little dwarf in. And what an absolute pig's ear he's made of it. And now they're reaping what they've sowed. They wanted him. They've got him. They're having to pay the price. And all because they wanted Boris Johnson out. And it now appears that Rishi had been plotting almost from day one to overthrow Boris Johnson. That also will be seen as very much something that they will not stand. It was Boris that won the election in 19. Boris. The Tories didn't win. Boris won. Lend me your votes, he said. And they did. And they'll never lend them again. The Tories have literally destroyed themselves the day they got rid of Boris. 
And this is all down, of course, to Rishi Sunak and his plotting. Well, it's all come back to bite you, Rishi, hasn't it? Uh, the Conservative mood has darkened after another two ministers quit this week to join an exodus from the Commons, while Reform UK has been gaining ground. And indeed, wasn't there a, a poll today? I haven't got the figures for it, but there was a poll today which showed that now, totally, Reform are ahead of the Conservatives in polling. It's never happened before when the Conservatives are now the third party. It's never happened in history. It's the first time they've ever come third in a national poll. It's unbelievable. Uh, many believe a confidence vote will be triggered after the local mayoral contest on May the 2nd, which will be highly damaging even if the Premier survives. Meanwhile, channel crossings are likely to continue over the summer and economic growth is still bumping along the bottom. Well, of course, you haven't got a man with balls. You haven't got anyone capable of staying at the Royal Navy. Patrol up and down the uh, up and down the, the channel, will you? And push the boats back. That's all it takes. Push them back. Don't give a fuck about the French. French get into fear. Push them back and all. We've got big battleships. Let's do it. And let's sail them up and down all day. Good exercise for the soul, for the sailors, isn't it? And make the channel uncrossable. Simple. It takes a man with vision and balls. Unfortunately, we've got a dwarf with neither. Anyway, speaking on the story podcast from the Times, Mr. Sunak said of his inheritance following the Johnson era and Miss Truss's meltdown, she was screwed. She wasn't melted. She didn't melt down. She was screwed over by your supporters. Uh, he said sometimes it's described at, as the worst hospital pass for any incoming prime minister in many decades. And that's clearly what it's been. There's lots of frustrations. We've been through a lot as a country over the past few years, which people are understandably frustrated about, and that makes the environment trickier. No, what they're really frustrated is a little two-faced toe rag like you taking over from Boris Johnson. It was Boris who was voted in. Like nobody, nobody voted for Sunak. The, the, the people of this country didn't vote and the membership, and you can't impose people like that and expect people to follow him and that was the destruction of the Tory party and as I say total almost completely there is no god-given right for the Tory party to rule and they've got to learn that now I think they're going to be out for two at least two elections they're going to get the f wiped wiped out here at the next election they may make a small comeback on the one after that but only because of the frustration of Labour but they'll still not be seen as viable because there is nobody in the Tory party at the moment that is in any way clean they're not there there's nobody there that stands out as a good politician as a natural leader and who is seen to be someone capable of getting on with the job they're all either has-beens or a bit slimy at the moment anyone who supported Rishi Sunak is slimy and the rest of them are has-beens there's only probably one and it's, it's Jacob Rees-Mogg I think he's probably the only one that could rise to it and I think it'd be funny but I think he's the only one who could rise above and give a clean image but who knows uh, anyway he said um, let's come down I'm not going to read all of that because it's there uh, he said yeah there's a particular moments when you feel it really acutely these problems because there's something very difficult going on that you just can't be there for and it's tough he said but that's the job uh, however, the PM put a brave face on Curtis's, uh, John Curtis's view that it's now extremely unlikely the Tories will hang on to power. He, it was Curtis who said that there'll be 99% chance of Labour winning. And of course, it's true. It is, of course, he's smiling a picture of smug Sakia, although he's being probed as well, isn't he? He's going to have an inquiry uh, over his sort of basically smug gittery as much as anything else, but also his abuse of uh, position with regards to Lindsay Hoyle done the story on that one earlier uh, but a July election is starting to look like likely it's, uh, it says here to trigger a summer election Mr Sunak would have to call it at the end of April for June and at the end of May for July I think what will happen is he'll wait until the um, mayoral elections he'll see that it's completely destroyed that's when he'll go or he'll do it maybe next week who knows one more letter one more letter. As soon as they trigger a leadership campaign, boom, it's gone. And it doesn't matter what dice he rolls. He could roll a series of double sixes. He's not going to win this game. He's finished, he's out, he's gone. And with it, the Tory party. 
who have so much to learn about not screwing people over. Coming up. My guess is now it will be an early election and I think it will be very early. Um, I believe from what's going on that there is only one more letter to go in. One more vote of no confidence going into uh, the 1922 committee and that's it. They'll call a leadership um, challenge. And that's when he'll go. And it could, it could be today. It could be tomorrow. It could be Monday. But it's going to be soon. Because not everything is working. In fact, nothing is working. And as soon as it's called, bang, there'll be an election. Watch this space. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this space. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.